hi uh, today i will cover a message design pattern uh, asynchronous messaging before you watch this video please tag into my channel and watch uh, message design pattern introduction uh, where i have explained uh, how message design pattern is working and i have provided some example also uh, first uh, watch that video understand and then come and watch this video so that you will understand uh, this video very clearly uh, so what is asynchronous messaging? So before we understand asynchronous messaging, we have to understand what is synchronous messaging. Synchronous messaging means sender send uh, some message to the receiver. Receiver receive the message and immediately process it and send a result back to the caller. Uh, that is uh, in this case sender. Okay. So this all the things will cap happen in uh, immediately in a, uh, in a synchronous way. Asynchronous means sender send the message to the receiver and the receiver no need to process that message immediately. The receiver can process the message some time later also and it can send uh, the output some time uh, later to the uh, sender. No need to uh, process that message immediately that is called asynchronous uh, messaging. The best example is uh, email. Okay, Suppose say uh, I want to send some email to uh, the person called John. So I log into uh, Yahoo mail server and uh, I click compose and I typed uh, a John email address and type some information and say send. Then that message will go to the Yahoo mail server and it will put it in the Yahoo mail server queue. And uh, whenever the John, uh, uh, John person is ready, uh, he may uh, he may come and check mail tomorrow but i sent uh, mail today okay so tomorrow he come when he is ready he log into the yahoo mail server then he will download uh, that email from the yahoo mail server queue then he will uh, read that mail and uh, if he wants he will reply to my mail okay so this is the best example of asynchronous uh, messaging so the mail sent to the yahoo mail server and it will be in the queue and that message will be processed some uh, some time uh, later by the john okay so how we can uh, do this one uh, i have uh, put it in the picture so you can see a uh, process one uh, which is nothing but a sender process two which is nothing but a receiver and uh, target uh, which is message queue this is the important one uh, message queue is the one uh, which hold uh, all the messages okay uh, suppose uh, sender wants to send uh, some message to the receiver in uh, asynchronous way the uh, sender send message to the message queue uh, and the message queue will hold all the messages which uh, sender sent so till uh, this receiver is ready to process this message uh, this message queue will hold the uh, all the messages okay um, so suppose after some point of time uh, receiver comes and he is ready to process the message so receiver is ready to process the message uh, he will come and check uh, uh, this uh, message queue and take the message uh, one by one and the receiver will process the message one by one and uh, uh, and output of that message will be sent back to the sender uh, sometime later so this way uh, this asynchronous message is uh, working so here uh, the important thing is uh, message queue so sender will send the message a message queue hold the messages and uh, receiver whenever it is ready it will uh, take message from the message queue and process it uh, this way we can implement asynchronous messaging and uh, I have created separate uh, video for uh, two-way messaging uh, and uh, MDB design pattern implementation. Uh, please log into my channel and watch those videos also uh, to understand this message design pattern clearly. And uh, this is about the message design pattern uh, synchronous messaging. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.